Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Satchel Ninja, and we're once again playing Life is Strange, episode two at a time. We are picking up exactly where we left off. We just hitchhiked our way to Two Wheels Diner, about to get our feed bags on with Chloe and her mom in the diner, because we got that mean breakfast Man, growl the smell on. Of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Yeah. Makes me feel 13 again. Can I get a burger in the morning? I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Strap on that Hello, bee bag. Sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Oh, God. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay, Marsh, love you long time. Flush before pissing on the floor. <laughs> oh, that graffiti. Hey, it's the deer. Thank you, redneck poet. Leaflets, leaflets, leaflets. Random guy sitting outside by himself. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Oh dear. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? It's not supposed to be a Canadian, because I'm not impressed. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. 
Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. <laughs> Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. That's one way to do it. Yeah, I'm blazed. Can I leave? Oh, yeah, I can talk to both sides. Should I go check out the sketchy RV? What's this guy selling? Are you selling Jesus? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Good morning. I wish, young. Has the town by Neptune's? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. The Prescott? They might rename the town. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. Are you I'd love to learn more. Let's go to the sketchy trailer. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. I guess I can't. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. All right. Last guy, newspaper man. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. God. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get some grub. Chloe really laced those posters everywhere, man. Drool. Want everything. I got you, babe? <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. How do I order my food? Chloe's mom. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Uh. 
I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Asshole. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. I said, over and out. How do I get grub? Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but... Isn't every... I don't care for... How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smart. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Joyce, feed me. Feed me. Yeah, I can sit down. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Is so there like an open booth? I can just have a seat. Ah, there it is. Alright, she told me to sit by the window. I forgot. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. 
He does care about her, along with all the students at Black Whale. Hmm. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? All the things. Mm, the waffles. But I'm gonna go with the bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. You would not work in a diner in high heels. One bacon omelet Nerd for the young lady. Warren must have been here. Bacon at twelve o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. 